starting for uh, the day yes uh, would firstly like to thank jai rana for taking up uh, for taking up yesterday's quiz so they are beautiful set curated by him sort of people the beautiful answers and we also had a lot of new participants from his circles that had joined so thank you jai and this is again from the set of life quizzes that we are doing during the covid-19 lockdown so a few interesting formats we try to uh, include a few new things in the 15 questions that we do every day so this is discussing quickly with the questions for yesterday so only four people are uh, you know able to use this phone and something like that so this is have i me simple answers to start with about the group second question so what is used to uh, which art form did uh, was talking about here so this is the varli art form okay thirdly came the piccadilly circus or piccadilly collars and later kanji desai the community was uh, models okay so models by patels so that's what started and then these were called mug shots okay very i mean aptly named so this was the uh, okay later come the uh, this was to make sure you do not end up dialing your ex or uh, any person you do not intend to when you are drunk okay and came uh, something in partnership with netflix Ben and Jerry. So this was Netflix and Chilled. C H I L L D. Apostrophe P. Okay. Then uh, so this was to make sure. Uh, so basically, because of the reason of wrinkles, they had to do all this. Later came the radio static, the walkie-talkie. For Brooklyn Nine Nine, when a uh, scene is being switched from a past reference to a present reference, okay. And then, what is the name given to such progress bars? So, this these are called the barber pole, okay. The barber poles, okay. It's quite evident from the second image there. So, Jerry's uh, original name was Jimmy's. then pablo escobar airport then the team it was uh, ancient dilemma so this was uh, the chicken came before or the egg came also chicken or the dilemma and finally adhd take a chill pill so yeah okay we'll just hold on for the slide for a couple of seconds and then let's start off with today's questions Let's start off with today's questions. So again, uh, we do this every day at 7:30 p.m. And uh, so yeah, let your friends know about this. And uh, despite the technical issues, we promise to have a beautiful, beautiful question, beautiful, amazing quiz set that will get you this every day at 7:30 p.m. We promise that. And how you can take part over here is. Uh, You can just send your answers to the number that you see on the screen on WhatsApp, and probably if you're using a mobile device, you can just write down your answers on a piece of paper and just uh, take a photo of your answers and send it across to us on that particular number on WhatsApp. Or either way, you can just send across your answers when you've written them simultaneously in any document, or just send us your answers in the Facebook and the Facebook Messenger on this particular page. Okay, start. Start with uh, today. Yeah. So basically, this is the format that we are going to play. There are going to be a total of fifteen questions. Question one to six are the plain, straightforward, dry questions, and then the seven to ten are on some theme. Okay. Additional three points if you get the theme correct. It's a very simple thing. You you always get it. Pretty sure. 
then later the uh, last five questions are going to be from the world of sims so do not worry if you've not watched simpsons completely cool all the questions are general okay here's the first question for today so if in 2019 uh climate action climate crisis climate denial and eco anxiety were in the shortlist and something was won by climate emergency then what are we talking about okay so something from 2019 what is this different set of phrases came together they were shortlisted and eventually something was won by climate emergency looking for a specific answer think of 2019 Okay, so there's something big from 2019, which was one, let's say, okay, one by uh, climate emergency, and the others that you see are some in the short lists. So what is this? Okay, question two. So what is this place used for? Okay. That you see in Malabar Hill in Mumbai. I'm gonna zoom in to the image. So, what is this place used as? What is the purpose of this place? Okay, have a good look at it. Look at what all is happening there. Okay, you see a few creatures. You see a few sort of people who are coming there in white dresses. Carrying something, so looking for a specific answer, and uh, basically what all of this is used for. So this is one of the places that is used in uh, for this purpose, and this is located in Malabar Hill. Okay, so what is this? It should be simple. You all must have gotten it by now. All right, that's question two. And again, uh, at any point of time, you guys are looking for any hints or any clarification. Please do uh, answer those in the comments. Let's go to question three. Okay. Again, simple. Uh, have a good look at this particular person, and tell me which character is this from the world of Asterix and Obelix. So who is this? All right. Just have a good look at the image there, and please. That's question three. Let's go to question four. So the dash syndrome is when you see a piece of art and you end up saying, "Oh, that's so amazing!" and uh, your body goes mental. It's kind of because it's exaggerated. But then there is a syndrome like this, which states, uh, "When you see a piece of art that is so amazing, your body goes mental." Somewhat exaggerated, but then I'm looking for the name of the syndrome. So. It would happen that all the time in the city is so lavishly covered with artistic and architectural delights, but it can occur at any time because the artist's aesthetic overwhelms, because the aesthetic features of this particular city will overwhelm, and in the end of it, uh, there is this syndrome which is named after the city because the whole city is now filled up with. Different artistic features that you would see everywhere, not just the museums. Okay, the whole city you would find very beautiful. So think of a city like that and come up with an answer. So what could it be? The blanks are definitely indicative in this particular question. So think of a famous city that has got a lot to do with art, architecture. 
and not just the museums in the city are famous, but then if you are also going out, you'll see many beautiful buildings, and you just end up seeing or end up getting this whole syndrome. Okay, that's question four. Question five. So connect these four things that you see. So something in the coat of arms of Ireland, the logo of a famous beer company, an object which is a personal favorite of Amy Farrah from the Trumpet Bank Theory, and uh, the object that you see in the image. So I'm looking uh, in the final image, the, the thing that the person is holding over there. Okay. Again, this should be simple. Something to do with the coat of arms of Ireland. Something. Logo of a famous beer company. An object, personal favorite of Amy Farrah Fowler from the Big Bang Theory. And what the person? One form of an old form of something that you see in the image the person is putting there. So what is it? Alright, that's question 5, question 6, okay, very topical, something which is kind of going to happen in the next couple of minutes. So, who is the painter of this? Okay, something that has been circulating and I particularly see today is a windy day. Who is the painter of this painting? So interestingly, when I was looking to ask this question, uh, I kind of got a very interesting fact that the first thing that you would think who the painter is is not quite the painter of this particular painting. Okay, so probably if you get what I'm trying to say here, your answer is wrong. Your first if your guess is wrong, it would look like the creation of a very famous painter because all of his other paintings are in this fashion. But then he is not the painter of this particular painting. Okay? So who is it? All right, that's question six. Looking for the painter of this image. The next set of questions are going to be in one particular theme. So three additional points for the theme. And uh, yeah, let's start. Seven to ten questions are going to be on the theme. Okay. So while also giving out your answers, make sure you're giving out the theme as well. So this is the astronomical symbol for what? Okay. All the answers will get you one point. Individual answers and additional three points. So, after a very simple, straightforward theme. Okay. Also specify what the theme is with your answers. Okay. Simple, straightforward. Question eight. So, according to Hebrew calendar and traditional Christian calendars, this particular day is the first day of the week. But according to International Organization for Standardization, this is the seventh day of the week. So which day is this? Okay. And again, uh, telling all of you, these set of questions, 7 to 10, are based on one particular theme. Okay, so which day is it? First day is being done by the Hebrew calendar. And then uh, International Organization for Standardization, this says this is the seventh day of the week. So which day is this? Let's go to question nine. So collectively, all this set of things make up what? So what you see on the screen is a mountain seagull. Water bearer, a fish, a lamb, a bull, a set of twins, a frog, a lion, 
made in scales, scorpion, and an arch. Okay. Collectively, all these are uh, exhaustive. This is collectively, these make up what. Okay, so question 9, question 10. So, identify this satellite. It is named after the 7th century mathematician who was the first to write numbers in the Hindu decimal system. Okay. Again, this should be simple. A satellite that came from NASA. So what is the name of this satellite? Alright, it's question 10. One word one word answer. And basically looking for the seven century mathematician who was the first to write numbers in the decimal system. Okay. So these are uh, the questions from the team. So I'm gonna quickly go through these once again. Okay. Question 9 is what do these collectively are called? Okay. Hebrew calendar, which day is this? Identify this astronomical symbol. Alright, that's question 7, 8, 9, and 10. So basically, there's one particular theme that you would see in your answers. Okay. Also, make sure you are specifying what the theme is. Okay, let's go to the next set of questions. So, something from the world of Simpsons. Okay, uh, completely fine if you have not watched it because a lot of questions are general. Okay, I say a lot because I'm not saying fine because there are a couple of multiple parts to every question, uh, to a few questions in the set. Okay, let's go to the Simpsons. So, what or which anatomical feature is altered in the characters from the show because it just becomes easier for the anim animators to draw. And the only exceptions are Jesus, Jesus, and God. Okay. Okay, only exceptions are Jesus and God and uh, this anatomical figure because it's easier for the animators to draw and saves a lot of time, not complicated. Okay, makes it easier for them. So what is this feature? Not just seen in Simpsons, but again a lot of different uh, animated series. So what is this? So looking for two to three words in your description of your answers. In your answer. Okay. At least two words is what we need in this one. Okay, let's go to question left. So this is something from Simpsons. So why is this job board by Bart a contradiction? So if you probably have watched it carefully and uh, gone through the end credits, you'll understand why is there's a little contradiction about uh, this job jack which Bart is writing. So it says, I am not a 32 year old woman. Okay. So woman there is uh, this hidden out because of his head. And telling you this is the best uh, image that I could take it out from the thing. So it says I am not a 32 year old woman. I'm also gonna bring that down in the comments. Okay, so that's what 
he is writing and in some way this contradicts to his character so why is this okay full points uh, if you also associate the name with something okay and half points if you give us the fungi all right let's question 12 question 13 okay this is the simplest of the lot uh, so from this is from season 11 episode 70 but to the future so what is this blanked out line from the statement by lisa when she became the first straight female president of the united states so she reads out to the people uh, sitting at the oval as you know we've inherited quite a budget crunch from dash dash so there are two different worlds that are blanked up so basically i'm looking for the name of a person so sarnik is asking how specific features so i'm not sure which question you are asking this about okay so please do let me know that and i'll tell you what it is all right so for question 13 as uh so zara quickly sum this up as you know we have inherited quite a budget from dash dash so looking for a name there now so if you probably know this particular episode uh, came in uh this was some time back this was the year 2000 this was from the year 2000 Okay, anatomical figure. Uh, yes. Yeah, so basically, it's a uh, it is something that is on the body. Quite specific. Okay. Yeah. I hope it clarifies that. All right. That's question thirteen. Question forty. So, seen in season six, episode three. Homer is seen teaching Lisa how to draw a circle, and he ends up drawing a picture of himself, just describing her to just draw a circle and then take a semicircle and draw the colors and make a circle and then do beautiful eyes and things like that. So, particularly for the hair, for the hair and the ear, he points out that to draw a hair, you have to draw an M. And to draw a G, to draw an E, you have to draw a G. So what is this a reference to? Okay. And basically, you see Homer's, uh, you see Homer in this particular way all the time. So his hair are made up of the G, the one that's pointed out, this side hair, like that. Okay. And uh, his ear is the G. So that basically means M and G. So what is this reference to? All right. It's question forty. Okay. And uh, all right for this one, uh, you kind of need to know a little background about Simpsons. Not necessarily you have to have watched the show, but then you need to know a little background about the whole show. Okay, that's what I'm quoting. And finally, so one point each. Identify these three that you see. Talking about the center character. Uh, basically, this person you see wearing the red shirt to the left. In the second image, the person. Uh, Who is seen? Uh, is like in that blue dress, okay, along with those boots. Whom Homer is carrying, okay. Looking for the original names of these two, all right. 
And for the third one, who is that? Okay, so inspired from different set of personalities or creatures or uh, people. So who are these three? And we'll give you like one point for every right answer. Okay, again, please note you're looking for the original names of those two. And then for the third one, what creature or uh, goddess she is? So that's it. Alright, it brings an end uh, to today's quiz. I'm quickly gonna cycle back through all the questions. Let's start off with question one. So, climate change, climate crisis, and denial were shortlisted, and something was won by climate emergency. So, what is this? So, what is this place used for? Located in Malabar, Mumbai. Okay. Name of this character from Asterix and Obelix. So, identify the city, which is so beautiful that a syndrome which just you go mad after seeing a lot of good art uh, is named after. Question 5 is this object that you see in the image. Something, personal favorite of Amy Farah Paula, logo of a famous beer company, and the code of arms of Ireland. Who is this painter? Right. Next set of questions. Seven to ten are on one part each. Make sure you're also giving out what the thing is. Okay. What is this anatomical symbol? Astronomical symbol. Sorry. Okay. Hebrew calendar and International Organization for Standardization (ISO). Which day is this? Question nine. Collectively, what are these called? And a satellite by NASA. What is its name? Okay. So make sure you are also giving us the theme with this one. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, and ten are theme based. Okay. And finally, a set of questions from the world of Simpsons. What anatomical feature is altered in the characters from the show? And not just in Simpsons, but in a lot of different uh, shows which are animated because it just makes the task easier for the animators. But again, except uh, there are two exceptions. Particularly in Simpsons, there are two exceptions. God and Jesus are the two exceptions in Simpsons. Alright. So why this chalkboard? Yeah, why God? A contradiction. So the chalkboard he is writing. I'm not a 32 year old woman. Okay. So basically, what's the contradiction here? Question 13 is I'm looking for the name of a person. As you know, we have inherited quite a budget crunch from someone. And uh, yeah, Homer is seen teaching Lisa how to draw sims. And he ends up uh, here and there as. M and G. So what is this a reference to? And finally these three people. Alright, question two. We'll go to question two. So says to uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll quickly go through the winners for yesterday's quiz and then I'll uh, go to question two. Yeah. So Winners for yesterday's quiz, uh, that was a really good good set by Jack that he had hosted. So Rajeshi dropping yesterday's quiz with 14 points, Nishant with 30 points, and Shul with 12 points, Gaurav Kukala again on 12 points, Shreesht with 11 points, Vishar Toyed and Abhinav on 10, Adar Shamsadnik on 9 points, and uh, Vinay Handa and Manish on Thanks a lot guys, uh, it's really great having all of you every day. So please do share this thing with your friends. Okay? Let them know that we do this every day at 7 30 pm. It's a good thing uh, to spend around 20 25 minutes of your day in the course like that. And yeah, let's end this off with me going to question 3. Alright. 
So we'll also zoom in to the unit. So what is question is what is this place used for in Malabar? Alright. So probably if you have joined it, I'll just repeat what I said. Uh, you see a few sort of people who are wearing white dress. You see a few other creatures. Okay. Then this is the whole setting of the place. Alright. So it kind of is also isolated. Probably that give you a hint. Okay. That's all. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, uh, again for joining in. Looking forward to your answers. Uh, so today we are accepting answers for the next 13 more minutes. And this is the time when I'm speaking, and as I'm seeing my clock, there, of course, is some sort of lag. So, yeah. Looking forward to your answers. Uh, let your friends know about this. Do join tomorrow as well. Thanks a lot. Good night.